Hey Dreamers, this is Jade and I'm back for another Journal With Me episode and this will be the last entry for April so I am doing my favorites page as everybody should be used to by now. Um, and I decided to start by putting down a wash of watercolors and the palette that I'm using is the Prima Watercolors, um, the Pastel Dreams. And I think that they are under the company of Art Philosophy now. So, just wanted to put that out there because some people might be confused when looking for it. Um, I'm using these old Amy Tangerine Alpha stickers to write out April. And then I will use um, my favorites. Um, that's just my handwriting. I just made a few die cuts of it. In different sizes to use for these spreads and I am readjusting here because I decided I wanted to put the film strip with the um, shows that I really loved um, towards the top and uh, the April was a little bit in the way so yeah just wanted to do some adjustments there I ended up doing a lot of adjustments with um, alphas during this entire spread <laughs> but anyway i'm going ahead and getting my tv shows down which were bel-air claws and grownish and then um i will get down one of my other favorites of the month which was the movie turning red <laughs> And I wanted something to go along with that favorites and not just have it kind of sitting floating out there. Something to kind of decorate the side of it and anchor it a little bit. And so I pulled out this, what do you call it? It's a sticker book that I got from joggles.com. Again, any materials that I use in the making of my spread, if I can find the link for it, it will be below in the description box so you, for you can check there. So you can check there. Can I talk? Anywho, continuing on. Um, so I'm just trying to get these hearts down. And there are so many adjustments and readjustments in this spread because I'll get some things down and then I'm like, I don't know if I quite like it like that. And so I'm like pulling it up and sticking it back and yada, yada, yada. It's it's a whole mess. Even this um, picture of the kids in Turning Red, that ends up coming up. And I, this was one time I'm glad that I print out the same image several times in different sizes <clears throat> uh, for adjustments or anything like that because I end up peeling that up and I have another one ready to go so thank God for that um, so it's, it's it's a habit I got into and it works for me because a lot of times I'll change my mind about something and the whole thing has to come up and then instead of trying to put down put back down the thing that came up that's all wrinkly and ruined and da, 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 da I have just a brand new one sitting right there waiting so I pulled out these old Tim Holtz alpha stickers um, I think they are discontinued I haven't seen them in a long while however you can find alphas like that pretty much everywhere um, so yeah I pulled out these old Tim Holtz alpha stickers just to write out binged and here I'm getting my entire watch list down for the month of April <music> So here I pulled out one of the Vicky Booten sticker packs. I want to say it's Sweet Rush uh, because I need to, you, you guys know I need to fill that white space down there. Um, and it's going to need some more filling than that. <laughs> so you'll see how I adjust that later on in the video. Um, as for the top here, I am getting down my music that I listened to for the month that I had on repeat. And it was really only one song. And so I want to add this sticker here. And I feel like there should be more washi. So instead of taking up the washi that I had down, I just decided to add to it because it can get covered up that part in the middle that's um, 
kind of looking a little weird <laughs> it'll get covered up with that sticker which I ordered from an Etsy shop a long time ago and I don't remember the name of the guy but it was such a cute little sticker that I had to get it I got that and a, a few others from him as well so here I'm measuring to get down my little play box here and I will cut that off the side of course and then go over it with my uni pen because of course I need it in a more permanent thing instead of pencil and I am getting that I have to end up cutting it trimming it down on the sides for it to fit completely in that box and so yeah the 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 song was for you by James TW I think is his name that was pretty much the only thing that I was listening to on repeat this month um, that I haven't already been listening to on repeat like Peru and overpass graffiti I have said this before stays on repeat I will not be surprised when either Peru or overpass graffiti ends up being my most listened to song at the end of the year on Spotify it's probably I think at the moment Peru is probably winning but I don't know because I've listened to both of them like crazy ad nauseum so getting the lyrics down and since that was the only one I was listening to I'm able to write um, a lot more and then I'm getting to the books that I read for the month again with the adjusting and the readjusting here trying to figure things out how I want things and I'm pulling these alphas out again these alphas gave me a hard time <laughs> this time and even here I noticed that I end up putting books read and I pull it up I put it down pull it up put it down and even at the end the red is a little wonky like it's going a little crooked a little too crooked for my taste so I'm gonna have to go back and fix that off camera um, because I see it on screen when I was um, editing this video together and I was like that is unacceptable Jade unacceptable <laughs> anyway this little girl is an Oso Paper Co download that I got years ago uh, I think she no longer offers downloads because people were taking them and acting like they were her theirs and selling them so she doesn't do digital downloads anymore but you can buy her stickers and I think this one may still be one that is offered however I do know that she is on a break right now the lady from Oso Paper Co. I can't remember her name. I want to say Danielle, but I'm not 100% sure. However, I did read on her website that she will be back August 5th. So if anybody is interested in her work, you can check back then. So getting my list of books that I read down this year and I decided I wanted to add. This is where uh, the turning red picture comes up because it's not working. And I know it's going to be basically I ripped it. And so I got down this you guys know I'm obsessed with these little watercolor color splotches and so like I said I had printed out several copies of that and I decided on the smaller one because I wanted that watercolor splotch to be seen more and also the um, washi tape at the bottom kind of acts as an anchor for them and then again I'm using more of this watercolor splotches these are from a sticker pack from creative devotion I picked up from pop shelf a while ago I really wish I had picked up all the ones that were there because I really really love it and so just getting a few more stickers down from I think um, Vicky Booten's sweet rush collection and then also that joggles what do you call it sticker book <laughs> y'all be forgetting and that it that does it pretty much for this spread so if you have any comments or questions please leave those below if you enjoy this content i'd appreciate it if you consider liking subscribing and sharing hope everyone has been safe and well and i'll catch you all in the next one bye